Welcome to Xbox Uncut's weekly podcast. We're back for episode 155. It's time to introduce our panel. We have the wonderful Tim Dog. Welcome to the show, Tim. How you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Love and beam right now. I'm in the uh, right now. I'm in the settings and I'm doing a description. I'm deciding if my channel audience is going to be family friendly. I guess I got to go 18. But uh, very happy. All right, we, Xbox fan guy. We also have Jason. Welcome to the show, Jason. Yes, I'm in the light, but I'm also being blocked by this thing. I'm going to have to mess with it. But yes, I'm here. And uh, we're going to talk about some crap. And we have the one and only Nintendo Dad. Hi, how's it going? Oh, that's great. Wonderful to hear. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Wow, you don't know no, no foreplay? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a man of foreplay. I thought you'd like to, you know. Eh. You know, depends on uh, the night. Yeah. Thursday night, no foreplay. No foreplay. Okay, then let's get right into it. Microsoft acquires interactive live streaming service Beam. For undisclosed amount of cash. But I don't think it was their largest purchase. Definitely not. But it was a probably a decent sized purchase. I mean I wonder what their investors think of them buying a game streaming website though, or a streaming service. I'd be more curious what Twitch is feeling like right now. Although their investors investors never like anything, so I mean, we're going to start streaming on Beam from here on out, hopefully. Uh, i got to figure out a couple things, like with how to record the show and stuff like that. Because we usually, OBS has, OBS <laughs> allows me to hit record. But the, what's the other thing called? I keep blanking on its stupid little name. Um, the FTL streaming app, it uh, it doesn't let me hit record on it. It lets me do everything else except for hit record, so. I'm Someone gonna... said they would have purchased it for the back tech or the background tech. Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people sat back going, why would Microsoft ever buy a gaming stream of service? Well, if you paid attention in the last few years, they do a lot of interactive streaming, especially around E3. So it, it makes sense that... Um, it makes sense that they would buy a service, especially one that's this snappy. It's very uh, good. I'm very impressed. I, I am like I am. Uh, I am right now. I am in a. Um, I am. I, I don't want to say I, I'm OCD about this right now. I, you know, it is. It is uh, honestly. I really like the way it moves around. I like the idea of it. I love how this is going to be integrated with Xbox. I love the community that's involved, where you have these. You know these executives that are present and they're there for the fans, and it's it's going to be a fun thing to do. Like this, this might be Microsoft's, uh, you know, move that you know nobody knew about that really can help you know the company. They they basically hired a bunch of kids, you know, and uh, the kids they they hit the big time. They hit jackpot. You know, I think the owner is is 19 years old. He's from Seattle. Uh, he won TechCrunch uh, Award last year. He spoke in New York. I heard him speak, or I watched him speak. He's very articulate, very smart. Uh, you know, has a lot of energy, and it looks like that they really um, got something here. Uh, it, it's it's something that's going to even get better. Um, so good times right now um, with this, and, I, and I'm actually I'm in it, and I love the way it sets up. I love how fast it is. Um, you know. I love the fact that we can actually take questions from the chat room and take questions from the chat room. It's not a five-second delay. You know, you can ask someone something, they can answer. You know, it's it's nice. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to the next article. Gears of War 4 pre-order bonuses, people. You could play Zombie Dom. That's all I gotta say. Zombie Dom. Who wants to really? fight? Yep. That's sick. 
<laughs> that is crazy. Because what else would you want to do? Are, Are you joking? Or is it really zombie No, it's dumb? zombie dumb. The Look at the ah. stream. Yeah. <laughs> There's a picture of zombie There's dumb. There's zombie dumb. There. You cut. <laughs> Let me see the picture. I'm trying in right now. It's. Right, I got to mute this. But you have zombie dumb. Wow. And you have... Uh... Wow. <laughs> the gold lancer is also in there. I don't think if they, they've announced if you're going to be able to, uh, oh, excuse me, if you're going to be able to, wait, what is, is Maria in chat? I don't know. All right. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like. But yeah, you'll get the gold match or stuff like that. It's a cool little, awesome little thing. But. And this is part of the digital pre-order, right? Yes. Okay. No, I think it's physical too. It's any pre-order. Because <clears throat> it's part of a Gears pack. I just want to know if you're buying the Gears of War Xbox, if this comes with it. That's what I'm more curious about. Because I want to play a zombie. <laughs> I mean, zombie Dom is wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sure you had people out there going. Why would they ever do that? They're ruining Gears of War. <laughs> you know, that crazy crap. Um, I, I feel like they're just having fun. I don't think they're having fun at the expense of the game. They're just having fun and doing what they think's right with this with the franchise. So, um, I like what they've done so far. I mean, I, do we have a story about the robots they added into the game? Uh, the the bees. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a story to him. I mean, somebody was making like a, a tweet to Rod, and, and he tweeted, uh, he showed a picture of a of a, a robot, and I guess it was in part of the, you know, he says, so soon you forget. So there is a story, I'm sure. I just don't think they're just throwing robots. No, robots. I didn't mean that. I meant if Dusty had an article for the oh, okay. uh, robots being. Oh, no, I don't have an article for the robots now. <laughs> um, I think it makes sense. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's the Prometheans. But um, <laughs> one th before we even move on, Prometheans are not robots. They're very, very, very advanced beings. I wouldn't classify them as robots. Um, they're digital beings or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but as far as these robots in Gears of War, it makes a lot of sense if you looked at any of the lore or even um, at when they first announced the new Gears of War game they made it pretty clear that the earth is almost extinct or humans are almost extinct the earth is barren there's very little people it makes sense that robots would need to take care of the dangerous stuff um, the last thing they need to do is get more humans killed so I, I, I think it works I mean it's Gears of War it's, mo it's meant to be over the top I mean We've we've had a we've had a Gears of War game where we ran through a giant worm and killed it, so <laughs> yeah yeah, it's not something exactly you're taking serious, but yeah, but that's my only thing. I want to know if you get the uh, if you get the DLC on the console itself. Yeah, I think the same thing, Stinky Pete. I think they're they're either. They definitely work for the government. I don't know if they're police. Well, they could be police force because if you listen to the audio stuff they do for um, for the DBs, like I think some of the lines were um, something about disorderly conduct and stuff like that. So it sounded very much like these things were meant to uh, enforce people, civilians, rather than go out and just kill people. Uh, it could be that, though. I think that it, it sounds cool. Well, I mean, to me, uh, the 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 um, robots, at least in the uh, in that Gears of War, the multiplayer, the, it was so crazy. How, like the animations of that robot. Uh, that I don't know if you guys did. You guys saw the multiplayer uh, uh, demo, right? That IGN first. I didn't see the multiplayer one yet. I've well, been busy playing Subnautica. <laughs> If you watch it, it shows the robot and, and the way he moves. Just watch it. It's like it's really fast and really impressive. So, 
you know, I, I, I don't have a problem with it. But people, like, go crazy about this stuff, and it annoys me, and I just try to, like, steer clear of it. But to me, it would look fine. I have no, absolutely no, I, no problem with that, and it looks fun as hell. Well, we don't have to specifically mention communities, but I think there's a few out there that are pretty desperate to find anything wrong with anything Xbox related, so. Yeah. I really, Post. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just saying, I'm really enjoying Beam. <laughs> I just host, <laughs> I'm playing around with it, I'm sorry. Well, could you stop? That's so could you be a host? <laughs> I'm sitting there, I just, I am, I just hosted the show on my channel on, on Beam. No, I mean, I mean, actually host. <laughs> the, the, the fans have to, uh, they have to, you know, carry on with us today because right now we are just like, First time in the Beam UI, and, and I know that Dustin set the stream up. How was setting the stream up? Was it good? Yes, yeah, like fairly easy. easy. Uh, the only thing that kind of <laughs> threw me for a loop was uh, I had to download a, a new update to Visual Studio for the Tachyon video player to work, even though I had OBS installed already. And that's all I really needed to figure out. And once I had that ready to go, it was pretty simple. Just getting the stream key and plugging it in and I was ready to go. But huh, we're going to switch. You know what that reminds me? I've been working on a song. Okay. At least all right. something to fill this dead space. And yeah, I'll just fill the dead space with this song. I wrote this for um, a special lady married to one of the co-hosts and it goes a little something like this Maria 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 that's all I got so far it's just that on loop on loop yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's true did that take eight writers or ten Maria oh. Maria 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 that's it yep that was it good job <laughs> was it did I have good like um, is there any Dad, is that Right. Tim's I trying mean, to become a backup singer for you, Dad. That's all it's going on. Oh, yeah. On. All right. I'll, I'll start, and then you wait a second, oh, and then not, you start. I, I'm not. All right. Here we go, Tim. Get ready. Maria. 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 <laughs> it works <There> perfect. <laughs> it works perfect. Uh, I'm totally I'm making saying... sure Fern and Maria listen to this podcast. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and change the description. <laughs> tell, yeah, tell Maria, right? That's yeah. going to be called the show. <laughs> That's I'm right. just going to go ahead and change the channel description to I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move. Let's move on to the next thing. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. What game do you love more than anything that you get to kill zombies in? That I can kill zombies in? Uh -huh. and then like you'd use a blender and make shakes and heal yourself and Super Mario Maker. Well, you're wrong. It's called Dead oh. Rising. And they're coming with oh, the right. tenth anniversary edition with Dead Rising, Dead Rising Two, and the spin off Dead Rising Two game. The like Game of the Year edition or whatever it was. Yeah. Well, it was a spinoff where you played as Frank West instead. Right. Yeah. An older looking Frank West in the right. new game. He looks pretty old in the spinoff. Even though the new game coming out uh, later this year actually takes place after all of these Dead Rising games. Yeah, when is it? December 6th? <laughs> it's, uh... Shit, it's actually up there because you had Dead Rising, you had Dead Rising 2, then you had the Dead Rising 3. No, it wasn't Dead Rising 3. Then there was the Dead Rising 2 demo, and then there was two more. Oh, the Xbox Live Arcade game plus yeah. Dead Rising on the Wii. Don't forget that. That was yeah. There's there's been quite a few. Like they've they've successfully milked it. <laughs> yeah. I'm still excited for the new Dead Rising, though. I think it looks cool. And I'll get the 10th Anniversary Edition. Was... It's still kind of crazy that it's been 10 years since Dead Rising came out. Mm -hmm. Jay, I'm not cutting people off. The host, so shut up. Alright. Let's move on. 
Microsoft won't be replenishing the two terabyte Xbox One outside of the US. Outside of the US. Are we upset? I think it's kind of dumb, but I'm a capitalist, so. Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? I said I think it's kind of dumb because I'm a capitalist. I mean, if, oh, it's, no. if there's demand, why wouldn't you supply it? I think it's kind of dumb, honestly. Yeah. Unless they figured it wouldn't be in demand once the cheaper ones are out. It might have been it sold better than they thought it would, and they're just yeah. out of stock. I mean, that's I probably honestly what it is. I do I think... I, I do think, sorry to cut you off, but I do think that um, it is selling, it, it has an appeal to it, put it that way. Um, for whatever reason, it just has an appeal. Huh. Yeah. I thought uh, they were going to have the 300 and the 350 versions, the 500 gig to one terabyte, and then the two terabyte was going to be designated to whatever bundle they had at the time, like the Gears of War. I think that still might be the case, like with Gears of War and whatever else they want to push. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I want to get that Gears of War. Hopefully NHL rivals when they bring that back. Or, or Blitz. Okay. That's, yeah. Well. Are there, yeah. Yeah. Anybody else getting a Gears of War console? Tim? Are you buying a uh, fourth, fifth, yeah, or sixth? Yeah. I am looking to buy one. I am. Uh, I am currently on the hook for four, four eighty. So I'm gonna just. I, I, you know, I can cancel it. Um, it's just a matter of how money breaks. Yeah. Since we're on the topic, Xbox One S, should we just go ahead and talk about our Xbox One S? We can. I need to. Well, let me get through this, and we'll talk about it in a second. All right. All right. So, Blue Dragon is coming to the Xbox One, guys. It's coming. So, Phil Spencer tweeted out something like, or no, somebody was asking, like, so is, you know, Blue Dragon coming for backwards compatibility? And he says, well, I can't say, but yes. No, he said, I'm not allowed to say, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed to say, but yes. One thing I've learned with Phil is that when he does that, it's coming. Yeah. It's 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 in the pipeline. So expect to see that soon. Wicked, the Xbox One S does not suck. I believe the fan blows. Well, I mean, it sucks yeah. in through certain holes, or it would be a vacuum. Well, I mean, through, through negative space, yeah, it sucks. I guess, technically. It has to suck from somewhere. It mainly blows. <laughs> All right, let's. Well, just it move has on. to equally suck and blow. Well, there's a lot more. Yeah, in volume, yes. <laughs> Dad, tell me about sucking and blowing. Your experience. <laughs> well, I find that you make a lot more money sucking than blowing, but that's just me. Well, I mean that's the final word. Because Nintendo Dad says so. Yep. But sucking hey. is more profitable. Sucking's more profitable. I think we I got a finally, headline. I can finally stop putting Blue Dragon in my 360 because I started playing through it again. And so. Yeah. It's a good game, guy. I'm still waiting for Over G Fighters. A game no one knows. Keep waiting. Yep. What is that? I thought there was not foreplay <laughs> on Thursday night. <laughs> what does yeah. that mean? I don't have an well, idea. It might have to do with the no sucking and blowing. The org yeah. stinky Pete. What? How? The org stinky yeah. Pete. Original. Well, I, I think he's the original. The original uh. stinky Pete. <laughs> I don't think he's the organization of stinky Pete. <laughs> Can we get the crispy stinky Pete? Yeah, I think I he's think based it. on. Uh, they actually based stinky Pete from. Toy Story three or two on it. Yeah. Is that why you're Stinky Pete, original Stinky Pete? If you're listening. Yeah, yeah, sucking yeah. and blowing. Sucking and blowing. Okay. So this guy is kind of <laughs> just on onto that. So he's a stinky one. He's part of yeah. Middle Out Compression. He understands it. He's, he's got it. Yeah. Yeah, he got it from 
Toy Story. He just loves Toy Story. Wait, Middle <laughs> Alcapress? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, Middle Alcapress and Toy Story? Where is this? I gotta start following people. Uh, yeah, he's, start following. He's, easy to start. I'm not following Stinky Pete yet. He's, Why he's aren't you off. following him? Uh, All right, well, you know what? We can know. follow him based on his answer to this. All right, who do you like better, Buzz or Woody? That's a real question. That needs to be answered, I believe. <laughs> this is a like a non-negotiable thing. Like, Dad needs to know. Yeah. We need to figure out if he's going to get booted from the chat or not. Buzz, Woody, or Bam? <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting. Woody. Tough one. Tough one. Well, come on. Tough one. Tough one. I didn't ask you to just tell me how hard the question was. Buzz. He said Buzz. Uh, well, I mean, with a name like Stinky Pete, I guess he can't like Woody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, so, well, we Thank you, Dad. Fo Thank we're you following him, Dad. You, you make the final call. Yeah, the jury's still out. We gotta wait. <laughs> we gotta wait. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I can't go against Dad. I just can't. Uh, I agree. Sorry, Stinky. Maybe in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's we'll see how the whole thing shakes out. What, if, whatever you do, don't follow. I, I'm, I'm really sorry for anyone listening to the podcast. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's right. We it's, listen. It is all. Listen. First of all, we got three people here. We don't have Vern, and we're all waiting for Vern's return. So, you know, this show is it's the beam night. So it could be a little. It could be a little childish if we want to be. Yep. Our professionalism is you know is just knocked down. The beam announcement has done this. It is actually, uh, Dustin is fully engaged in being. That's all he cares about right now. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I like toys, and this is a toy to me, and I'm going to be playing with it for the next week, trying to figure it out. I mean, Jason could show it to you better than I can. Uh, Jason, move over to the right. We're building our PC. I got my big first piece in. Oh. This is going to be our streaming PC. I got my Phantom 820. The, oh, yeah. the case Hold came on. in. Hold on. It's a huge, just, just watch huge... my video stream, all right? I don't know if you know how big a full tower is, but it's a big mamma jamma. This is my future PC, guys. Which is going to come across really well on yeah, the audio podcast. That's right. So, yeah. that's why we're switching over to letters. Because it's, it's time. It's time, guys. Oh, Jason boy, here keeps... we go. Okay, Jason set it down. All right, let's hit transition. Do you guys feel Microsoft has lost third-party publishing rights with Ubisoft now? Everything Ubisoft shows is PS4 controllers and PS4 and first on box art. And so what does this mean for Xbox? We have lost almost all third-party deals. Wait, <laughs> John. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Third-party rights? Well, you just meant it's like the marketing rights. Okay. There's, there's no such thing as third-party rights, though. <laughs> Marketing rights, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it comes and goes, man. I mean, some sometimes Sony's going to get the marketing rights to a company. Sometimes Microsoft will. It really depends on who's backing them up on a certain game or whatever. I mean, U Sony's been doing Ubisoft for a little while this gen with, uh, what, Far Cry and stuff like that, so... It's not really that big of a deal. The only time it becomes a big deal, and I hate it, and Sony's done it a lot this generation, is when they actually buy the rights to announce a game, and they reserve the rights to prevent the person who builds the game from announcing it from other platforms. Like, you know, No Man's Sky. <laughs> so, it happens. What was the other part of the question? Was it just about the, the marketing rights? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just something that happens, man. It's It's been going on with Ubisoft for a little while this gen. It doesn't mean anything negative towards Microsoft. Um, that, just like the Call of Duty activism stuff, Microsoft gave that up. They didn't just... It's not like they had to lose the Call of Duty marketing. It's just they decided that the it, it was too big of a money pit to be worth it anymore. So... All right. Thank you, John. Unless anybody has anything to add. We're moving on. 
hold on, wait. Before then, we go to the next question. Yeah. I get. I gotta give a shout out to Grumpy Prophecy <sighs> because he's like, you know, like when you see like two old men that are like friends, but that's only because they're really old and they don't feel like walking away from each other. That's probably gonna be me and Prophecy someday. So I just thought I'd give him a shout out. Well, nice. I'm nice. glad I know y'all know where you're gonna end up. I mean, yeah, that's something I mean, special. On each other's laps. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a long email, so this is going to take 69 is oh. more than a number, Dad. <laughs> it's more than a number. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a position in life. <laughs> All right, so let's read Wicked's question. Oh, God, let's go. Callback time! If oh, you geez, recall, so take a nap. on December 18th, 2015, I asked you guys to create a gamer score challenge for me. And it was decided on 290,000 points. And on July 23rd, 2016, I achieved that goal with the, with the achievement. Oh my god, what the fuck barbecue in St. Row 4 re-elected. Worth 5 gamer score. Hitting 290,000 on the dot. Start time? As of August 3rd, 2016, 9.43pm. I have unlocked 2,164 achievements worth 65,881 gamer score across 117 games in 232 days, going for 365 achievement streak. So now I will have Vern, or whoever reads this aloud to read my challenge, completed speech. I'd like to thank the Academy, Xbox, my mom, and all the indie devs who provided easy gamer score games, and of course... Steve Rules of SteveRules.com. For the only guy on the show for believing in me and also friends who helped me get achievements. Now, to actual question for the listeners of Xbox Uncut. Guys, on the show, don't count. You can't. Wait. Guys on the show, don't count. You can't answer this. I want to know what you guys think of me. Do you think I'm an AI? Maybe a paid person to write these letters. Or even a kidnapped person forced to write. Help me. Send your answers to letters to this show, which is letters at xboxuncut.com. Message me on Xbox Live. Gamer tag is the Wicked Soul. Slide in me in DMs on Twitter at thy name is Wicked. Maybe on PSN, name is... I ain't fucking reading that shit. I'm sorry, Wicked. <laughs> you can also find me on Plenty of Fish, Tinder, Grinder, OkCupid, Bumble, Snapchat, Meet Me, and also Steam as The Wicked Soul with underscores between the name. Wait, who's this Wicked guy? I'm looking forward to feedback. If you don't get a If I don't get any, you can kiss any more letters from me goodbye from the wicked soul referencing the marina choice youtube kidnapping well congratulations well, on not having a life wicked no but seriously congratulations that was a lot of work to get that kind of gamer score that quickly wicked i'm happy i, I hope you're happy with how i read that I did it for you. The passion was for you. <clears throat> you know what? You know, I got to call Wicked out here. Here's some <laughs> feedback for you, Wicked. You know what? <laughs> I was in a party chat with Wicked and some other stranger. I have no idea who it was. But Wicked, I don't know if he was a little shy, a little... Uh, was he playing co-op? Yeah, I don't know if he was playing co-op or what. I don't know. But Wicked told me oh. with a straight face. He didn't even laugh. Hold on one second. Didn't even laugh when he told me that he doesn't play video games for achievements. <laughs> I nearly spit out my drink, but I wasn't drinking anything. Bullshit. So I would have just spit out saliva. Bullshit. You know the Wicked is that guy that's always at the red box holding up the line getting every game he can get with <laughs> yeah. easy achievement points. You know. Well, th there's some feedback for you, Wicked. So write back next week. And let, 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 let Tim or 
Let Dad yeah. know what you think. Let, let give me some feedback, or I won't be on the show again. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. So what what oh, what Tad is saying <laughs> is you must write him next week, Wicked, or he's just off the show forever. Yeah, for good. Next checkmate, to... sir. Yeah, checkmate. Dad might be your <laughs> only supporter on the podcast now that Steve is gone. Yeah, yeah. You gotta love and this I'm guy, Dad. A supporter like you know, like a father, you know. <laughs> yeah. Terrible father, but a father. <laughs> Nonetheless. The kind of father that goes to get cigarettes and never comes back. <laughs> An abusive father <laughs> that puts his I'll cigarettes out. I'll come back out. if you become a professional athlete, a movie star, win the lottery. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> and then I'll sell your clothes, your kids' clothes, on eBay. Yep. When Love you, Dad. XO, yeah. XO, XO. Oh, wicked. Yep, you'll have terrible terrible credit before you're the age of eight because i'll use your name isn't that what happened to kobe Everyone, bryant Did, listen. didn't his parents sell his shit on ebay or something like that <laughs> i hope so i would <laughs> you know these these um these these avatars that are just like the eggs of uh beam they annoy me greatly so if you have uh i think she wolf actually has an avatar if you don't try to have one just to make me happy Thank you. That's that's my that's my response to Wicked's letter. Please make Tim happy. And change and have an avatar, not so wicked. That is my whole answer for that whole question. Yeah, there you go. Because only because he didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I did listen to it. He is that, but he is definitely place for achievements. I think everyone does now. Uh, you know, it's part of what we do. Yeah. All right, well, moving on to the last letter. And remember, you can write Wicked and let, make sure he keeps writing into us. And remember, you can write our show, letters at xboxuncut.com. And tell didn't us... We, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but didn't we... Uh, no, no, do, do the pitch and then I'll have a question. Okay, letters at xboxuncut.com. We want your emails, especially all you new viewers from Beam. We want, we want your support. Yes, because uh, my question was, is didn't Wicked once have seven... What was his all-time record for letters? He's had Oh, like seven in one show or some shit like that. Seven, right? Yeah. Huh. So if you, if you, you want to be like Wicked, but only one time, just write a letter. Yeah. It's, you only we, have we to... We like to read them. It's fun. We can go off course. And we... Yeah. Did you, did you hear that, Wicked? <laughs> Dad's not impressed. I, that... Yeah. It didn't sound impressed. He didn't sound impressed. No, I'm just, I was just shocked. Like, Wicked got seven emails read in one show. I wrote once, didn't get read, and so I never wrote again. It didn't get read? Why? Did we mess up? <laughs> Vern said it was too dark. Vern said it was way too uh, vulgar. And I was morbid. wasted when I sent it. No, he defense. was, it was like. Oh, Vern, shut up, Vern. <laughs> he hasn't been here in six weeks. Yeah, Shut I know. Up. Yeah, he's kind of a yeah. guest member now. Like not even now. A... Maybe we won't read his letter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll read your letter in the future. <laughs> your Vern. resignation, Vern. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Moving on, everybody. Predator H two O. What's up? Welcome to the party. Hey, fellas. Hope all is well. Hi. I wanted to know what your guys take on whether No Man's Sky will make it to its way over to the Xbox One. Also, are any of you excited for this game? I look forward to hearing the podcast. Thank you, Andrew. I am not <coughs> excited for this game at all. I was, but now I'm kind of... Like, I would have totally been in the hype. I would have been there. Like, all, like, balls deep. But, uh... Oh, all right. After seeing like oh like it's it's like two hours of fun and then it kind of just like peters off like it's uh, sixty dollars has to be worth something you know there has to be a limit. Look, and I play a lot of games like um, No Man's Sky, like Space Engineers and Subnautica, and all kinds of free roam uh, indie survival build your own time stuff games and no man's sky as much as it's cool that it's pre-generated it has all this cool stuff you can go to different bunch of different planets there's nothing to do like that 
you can't even do base building yet. I mean, it, it really feels like an indie game that should have been in preview right now. And it should not be $60. I mean, it, it's... Well, and it doesn't not? help that you had Sony go out of their way and DMCA channels that were speaking natively about it. Which is absolutely fucking disgusting. What well, DMCA means is they're going, they're basically coming out and saying they're breaking our, uh, they're breaking our, copyright, our, and our they're copyright. Not, yeah. And they're using that as a tool to prevent people from having negative opinions. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Cause they're, they're fairly under fair use and they're being punished for it. Well, my take on no man's sky, Andrew is that I am excited for it. Um, it is a game like, uh, Jason says it, it's it seems like it's in preview. Um, what I don't like is is how Sean Murray and Sony basically lied about it and made this impression that people were going to meet on this world and you can find this galaxy and you can find somebody a needle in a haystack and you can meet up and you can do all these well, things together. Tim, they turned it into a challenge because they. They were like, look, you're, it's going to be extremely, really, really, really hard to find anybody. So we're not calling it multiplayer. But right. it's possible. But the and like they would end it like that every it. time. They were like, someone, it's, it's possible. Well, and then fucking people, it, people did it. They, they said, fuck it, we're going to do this. And they found each other, got to the exact same location, and nothing. Their nats were open. They tried everything to keep to get their connections open to make sure it wasn't a, a local issue, and it still didn't work. Well, yeah, I know. I read that. Well, in my opinion is I am excited for the game. Is it worth $60? Probably no. What it's going to be for the average user is you get caught up in it. Maybe it feels it, feels, it has novelty, feels great for the first two hours, and then... Um, you know, basically, uh, it it drops off. You know, and you find yourself doing the same monotonous things, and and it loses its luster. But with that being said, I think the 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 game has a lot of potential. Uh, I don't appreciate what Sony uh, and and Sean did, but uh, I think maybe they just were a little embellishing way too much. And if that was Microsoft, they would be burned to the ground. But that. That is that's another that's another uh, rabbit hole that we're not going to go down, but um, overall I I would say Andrew um, I probably I am excited but like I said it's it's not there yet if you really want a full experience. The biggest problem coming up though is that you know what it is Tim, they did this for No Man's Sky and you know they're going to do it for The Last Guardian. And they're going to do it for GT Sport. And it's going to be like this the rest of the year. You know they're going to do it. They're going to overhype the hell out of these games. And then they're going to lie about them. And then anyone that has a negative opinion about them, they're going to try to take them down. And you're going to have places like Gaff sit there and defend them. Well, Gaff is basically a strong arm of Sony. But th we know that. You know, At this point, we know where people stand and where people are. Um, but you know, uh, obviously there is there is a little bit. There should be a little bit of uh, criticism here. Sean, I think, was asked directly, and he said yes. Um, Sony then today said something. What they had some term, they had some dumb term of what this uh, uh, this advertisement was. It was it was just you know they it, it was just you know stupid PR talk stuff that. Usually, Gaff goes after Microsoft about, but you know they're they're a little they're a little they're not going after them as a hard because it is Sony, but they are going after them in in a somewhat of a capacity. And overall, I think that it's it's pretty screwed up. But um, you know, get some servers. I hope this game comes to Xbox and you know, actually make it what people want. You know. It's a good IP overall. I just think it's just way too. It's like Ark when I played it in December. You know, it, it needs it needs another year. It, it was it was released too early, um, and uh, you know they should have made good on their promises. All right. Well, I hope that answered your question. Uh, yeah, I did play it. Did you? 
Yeah, I played like five hours so far. What did you think? Um, well, I mean, I played it for five hours, sixty dollars. I mean, that's about as much as I played. Uh, the Witcher. Quantum Break. Yeah. So. And I paid sixty dollars for that. So. I I feel like keep I want to keep playing, and uh, I don't really care if I run into anyone else because. It, I guess it's because I kind of like the survival sort of game because you got to always navigating the menus, getting rid of your hunger and your sleep and that, uh, going back and forth, trying to find shelter on the planet and all this other stuff. But yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I think it will come to Xbox, probably not for like a year, but yeah, yeah. We completely missed that part. Yeah, there's definitely... It seems like it's coming to Xbox at some point. Probably, hopefully, by the time it does come to Xbox, it'll have a lot of the stuff they're talking about they're going to add to the game to make it better. Like base building and all that. Which should, which is why I say it should be a preview game. Because base building is a big part of survival. I mean, that's... I don't know. It, I, I'm just comparing it to the other games you got available right now. You know? That are in the same kind of genre. Oh yeah, I know. It, I mean, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's uh, We Happy Few? I don't know if I put We Happy Few into the same genre, but I would put like Subnautica and uh, Art Survival stuff like that into the same genre. About, I mean, sir, you got the different planets, but the pre-generated stuff at a certain point when you're doing the same thing in the same area. It's all just going to become muddled. Like, all the other stuff is just going to... If it's... If it's just... It's, oh, it's a colorful planet. This one just happens to be red and the giant dinosaur has wings. <laughs> you know? Not that there isn't some kind of thrill to that at first. But at some point, it's, it's going to get to the point where it's like... You know, I've seen that... Like, uh, I think Digital Foundry said it. Like, you can tell pretty quickly that a lot of the models... It's just like four but they mix and match different parts on the animals. And it, it, w when you see a bunch of them at first, it's pretty cool because there's there's a, quite a few of them, but at a certain point you can start to tell it's the same things with different parts. Um, I think it could be done right, though, over time. I think it could become a pretty good game. I mean, usually survival games take a while. I just don't think this should have been a $60 game. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's steep. But I think within... A year, it'll be worth the sixty. They, it looks like they plan on adding a ton of content to this game. Uh, I don't think it's an issue with content going forward. I just think it's very. It didn't hit hard enough for, at the gate. That's for most reviewers. It's gonna, it's gonna get like, kind of like five out of ten reviews, uh, mm -hmm. and then. It's going to get a lot of DLC, and the people that love it are going to fucking see, I told you, I told you, and it's like, well, that's not what the game launched with. So, it's, I don't know, like, it's going to, it's going to evolve into something better, but... Did Tim just get dropped? Did Tim get dropped? I don't know. Yeah, Tim got dropped. I'm going to just add him back on the call. That sucks. Your voice got really bad, too. Oh, uh, I still sound good for me. That's all I know. We're waiting for Tim. But the show must go on. No, yeah. We got that. I agree. I think um, I think it's just how Sony kind of painted themselves in a corner here, hyping it up so much as opposed to just letting it come out like, you know, like Transistor and uh, Galaxy and other games that they promoted in the past. It just seems like people took to this one, so they were like, okay, this one we're going to really get behind this could have been a good chance for them to start their own preview program you know and had no man's sky like have like a a free like two hours or something and then make it like 30 dollars to buy now and then in like six months when they do a true launch then it's 60 like just it would have kick-started this game you know um it's a nice thing that steam and xbox does with that preview stuff you just got to be able. You got. You just got to make the customer confident this game's gonna make it. That's all you got to do. 
And I don't have, like, I, I'm confident No Man's Sky would have made it. <laughs> All right, I, I think we should just move on while, wow. uh, I don't know how long it might take to get Tim back. He just sent a message saying yeah, he, he lost, lost power. power. Yeah. Oh, crap. That sucks. I'm trying to figure mm. out if power's out, period, or if it's he's just restarting. It makes a difference. <laughs> Especially for Tim. Losing power sucks. All right. Well, where were we before Tim lost power? No Man's Sky. We just finished the last letter, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for writing in. We are going to move on to... What do we move X on to? What? Xbox One S. One talk S? about the new you, console. You talk about this console. Dad, did you get the new console? No, I did not. I just got the controller. What do you think of the controller, Dad? Let's let's start there. Let's start with the thing you're going to be touching and caressing the most. I like the grips on the on the controller and how it feels because I I've been using the uh what is it called the what's that controller the real the elite Fancy one yeah so i've been using the elite and then ever since i got this new controller i've been using that one okay really yeah. i couldn't i tried it for a little bit but i had to go right back to my elite yeah no i like it i don't know no i don't i i think the the only problem i have with the controller i think i think the material feels a little cheap but other than that it feels like a solid controller um I don't mind that they use the same material on the console because the console is not something you really touch. You know, you it just needs yeah. to look good, um, and it, the material does look good. It, it um, or I could start right here, like it, it doesn't look bad, and it looks nice. The real, but I don't think it feels good on the skin or however you want to say it. It doesn't. Well, it you're not gonna be you're not gonna be sleeping with it. Yeah, you're not. Well, gonna we're talking it. about the controller. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you no, were I, I do sleep console. with my console, though. That's why I have it to plug. <laughs> well, doesn't Colin Moriarty and the other guy do it? Do that? They did it with the PS4. That That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep with my console. Um, I'd be worried about fucking breaking it. <laughs> yeah. Like rolling over and then like throwing it off the bed accidentally wow. or some shit. Don't sleep with electronics, people. Oh, uh, we are, we are still waiting on our Connect adapter. We haven't gotten that yet, so we can't tell you about the experience of plugging that in yet. I did. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, it's a lot. Will you ever it survive is... after you've done it once? Or are you okay? Yeah, no, it's it's. I mean, I you know, I could see why people complain about it, to be honest. But you know, at the end of the day, it's it's just. 12 seconds out of your life that's annoying and then you throw it behind a, 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 a TV or whatever and you, you never, never think, think about, about it. it yeah. um, but uh, it's big and there's a lot of wires. Speaking now, they of had something that's me... not big though is this console. This console is not big. This console is small. It's pretty. Tim, do you... What do you, what do you think of the size of the console? Oh, I love it. This is uh, this console. I'm looking to upgrade everything. So, you have know. you watched any 4K movies, or do you have your uh, 4K TV yet? No, no. Still Me and Dusty have watched uh, Superman v Batman. We Batman v Superman. Or Batman v Superman on Blu-ray, the Ultimate Edition, and HDR looks fucking awesome, dude. I know so, you saw it at um, E3. I, yeah. I want to talk about how Jason's the luckiest fuck on the planet real quick. Yeah. Uh, my TV does not do HDR, Tim, right? Uh, but it does. <laughs> because mm. uh, my panel was messed up, so I had to get uh, Samsung to come out, a contractor, and they replaced the panel on the TV, and apparently they replaced it with a 10-bit panel. So I do have HDR. Even though my my original panel did not, so <laughs> I lucked out big time. So uh, 
Yeah, and I saw the pictures you were showing me. I mean, it doesn't really translate, but you can definitely yeah. see it's a different. You can see the difference. It looks. You can really see there's saturated. something going on. Yeah, it is. It looks saturated in the pictures, but that's you'll tell you. It doesn't look like the, saturated. the kryptonite lance that they have in the like well, it's very um, very green like i showed beautiful. them the pictures of that demo yeah. remember the demo i showed you with the yeah. lady and the chest, the chest demo yeah um i didn't i didn't post pictures wait of the what oh what lady in the chest not her chest as in the game not her chest oh i thought you said the lady and her chest and then you just no that's a different video going i yeah, know that's... i was like wait a minute that's that not the not... one you showed me <laughs> That's not an <laughs> HDR video, Dad. Oh, okay. That's just the 4K video. Not yet. Yeah. That's the <laughs> VR video. <laughs> One booby per eye. No, no, no. no. Um, yeah, but it, it looks absolutely awesome, and I can't wait for, to play uh, HDR games. And the 4K looks great, too. One thing me and Dusty did notice, though, is when you're playing a 4K Blu-ray and you go to the dashboard, it's slow. It, it gets really slow, the dashboard. It, it it takes a lot on the console to run those 4K Blu-rays. Yeah, it feels it, for sure. I don't know what kind of power mode it's in. I'm sure it's in a lower power mode. That way it doesn't use too much power. But, um, yeah, it's pretty sluggish. On the, if you go to the main dashboard, the, the menu on the Blu-ray is fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anything else to talk about this new console? Um, I I love the 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 size. I love the controller. I didn't get to talk on that. Um, the controller to me, uh, it isn't as robust as the previous one, but just feels right in my hands. It, like really ergonomically, it 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 just it feels good. I like the way the button sticks in. I like the fact that I could take it and go take it right to my and put Bluetooth on and play on my Surface and stream if I want to. Um, to me, I like the design. I, I, you know, I, I, w I wish they would have done a better job on the grips, um, but you know, they they didn't they didn't they kind of cheaped out on that. But you know, the con the controller is going to be like fifty dollars, so. Might not be as expensive as the other one, which was fifty nine ninety nine. I think the 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 price this is this controller is going to come in at is fifty bucks, um, which is good. Which is good, right? For fifty dollars, it's good. And if you want, you know, if you want to, you know, listen, I got the lunar controller. That was one great controller. That is my second favorite controller. It's the controller I use the most. If you want to be advanced and you want to be a professional or want to. Um, you know, play with the way the professionals do. The Elite is just, it's a whole different ball game. But what Microsoft's doing with their hardware is really a stark contrast from what they used to. You know, they usually make these ugly looking things. Xbox, Duke. I mean, the Xbox One's not, the, I always thought it was elegant in a way and it was just, you know, very simplistic. But this is this 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 design and just their design across their line with the surface books and and everything they really got the hardware uh under control even you look at the joystick line how they have these they have elite and then they have the original controller which you know you could tell it's a little more uh more um it's a little more dense and it's a little it's i would say it's a little more richer you know, just to dumb it down, than the 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 Xbox One S controller. It is a little bit better, I think, uh, or a little more. You know, a little more bang for your buck. But that one is like a fifty dollar controller. So, um, really, kudos to the hardware team because they are making a sick comeback. And the nice thing is, it's all these controllers and everything. Because and with the way generations are going to work now. This can be your controller for the next 20 years if you wanted to. I don't know if I'd go that far, but yeah. But no, what I mean is they're not planning on having, like, another console where they're going to stop you from using the Elite controller. If you really wanted to never upgrade your Elite controller, you're probably going to be able to use it for a very long time coming. I mean, which is great. I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel like the old generations where you get used to a great controller and all of a sudden... 
It's new, yes, but sometimes it might not be better. Although we've been very lucky with Xbox because I feel like, you know, the 360 controller was definitely better than the original. The And then the Xbox One controller was better than the 360 controller, so. And now we have the Elite. All right. Well, I want to talk about what I've wanted to talk about all week. Okay. Batman Episode 1 from Telltale. Great. I thought you wanted to talk about polygamy. Oh. Well, Dad's here. Dad? Dad? Yes. Polygamy. How do you feel? It's, it's all right. It's not that bad. All those wives? Yeah. All those children? Yeah, but that's well, a lot of work, let me tell you. Some it's not that... work, Dad. You just have them and you go. No. Oh, don't hear it, Dad. If... No, it's, that's not how it works. You, you go get from, cigarettes and it's over. That's not work. From someone that dated multiple people at the same time once, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Mentally, it can't be good on you. You know, you got to deal with yeah. two people's problems. Come on. Yeah. Plus them not knowing about each other. It's just a mess. Yeah. Oh, Wait, you know, was you that get, her problem? Some people do three problem? people. You, you forget about who you're getting <laughs> cigarettes on this week or... Yeah. It's, oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't mean to come back to this house. <laughs> I'm gonna go get cigarettes again. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow morning. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna move on from Deadpool. <laughs> awful. It's just awful. So, Batman. Yeah, Batman. Anybody else play it? I, I played it. I played it twice. I really I didn't have... I enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have this big problem that people had with the frame rate and everything. I mean, well, the, or, the first I had like no idea it was the beginning. The beginning was bad frame rate. Like, there's just the scenes with a lot of people. Like, there's definitely it was just like ah, I, I see it. Well, it wasn't, but after it, after that, I thought it was good too. I really did. It was just the very yeah, beginning. I, I, you know, there was maybe hiccups, but overall, I mean, they they're making a, a absolute. They're making like this game's unplayable. It's not. It's pretty good. Also, um, I'll agree with you, Tim. I didn't notice the resolution thing until somebody said something. Yeah, I didn't know until so I was like, "What?" 614? I just I thought that fucking looked just looked like a Telltale game, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, you're not you're playing those games for the story. You're playing the you know the cartoon esque you know engine. It's yeah. Could it get better? Yeah, but you know, I think in time that 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 it will. But you know, it is what it is. I thought that I'm still playing it, so. I think I'm halfway through the episode. Uh, I think I did two acts or whatever, two sections. But, um, you know, it has me wanting to come back to it. Just out of curiosity, I don't want to spoil anything, but did you get to the part where you're interrogating the guy? I think that's where, right where I am right now. Okay. Because I, I, I was, you, you make a choice in that. And I made the good choice, and Alfred's still busted my balls, and I, I'm pissed off about that. Because I didn't do the bad choice. And, like, Alfred's a bitch in this game, because Alfred, so, so far, is like, But you slowly, like, hurt that guy. It's like I'm fucking Batman. It's what I do. Like, yeah. I'm not murdering people, but I'm fucking, like, if I apply pressure, it, it doesn't make bad. That's what Batman does. He applies yeah. pressure, and Alfred's like, yeah. "Oh no! Like you, you, you're going against the law." It's like, "No shit! I'm a vigilante." <laughs> I don't know. How do yep. you feel about it, Dad? Did you like that scene too? Did Alfred bust your balls? Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. But that's, I made the opposite choice as you, and I, he, uh, he, well, yeah, he was not happy. Yeah, he busted my balls, and I didn't do anything wrong you know he's he's like he's, he's just not victory. happy whenever you're batman yeah much. like he's like why aren't you bruce wayne and i was like because i'm fucking batman yeah. but i like playing as batman in that too like you give me you make really good choices as both bruce and batman yeah i liked it a lot now the other big thing uh how do i say this without i'm trying to figure this out I don't want to spoil it. They kind of took the storyline from the comics and changed it up a little bit. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, you know, people get mad about that, but comic story, comics don't directly translate well to games or movies, so. 
I wouldn't get too mad when they change things. I do hate it when they completely change up storylines, though. Um, but the way a scene can play out. Right. I like how it's, like, really early in his career. Like, Harvey is still mm -hmm. Harvey. He's not Two-Face. And it's, like, this way they can go from this. If it's successful, they can just have multiple seasons and just kind of oh, keep, go from keep here. Keep going, yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. I like that. They can create their own universe. Now, it, it kind of reminds me of the show Gotham, honestly, in that way. Because they're, yeah, they're so early Batman's on. Batman's yeah. actually in it, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I just got to know, Dad. Okay. When... Oh, there's just... I, I don't want to spoil this. Uh, or no, it's not a spoiler. It's not really a spoiler. But, like, the, in the writing, like, when... Did it prick your nerve when... Uh, Hobblepot sends you a text message and he's like, hey, I'm running a little late. I'll be right there. And then instantly Batman's inner monologue goes, he's not here. I wonder where he could be. And I was just sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck? What is oh, this yeah, writing? Yeah. Like, who yeah, wrote that? Like, you knew, like, he got the text. Like, the, it was just, like, there's some really bad writing in some places in that. Like, some really, really bad writing. <laughs> It's like it's just like like two scenes that got jammed together. I don't I don't even know if I'd call that writing. It's more just understanding what's going on in a scene. That that's not even really right. Like right, they wrote the scene, but whoever sat there to put together how it played out was just like oblivious. Like he's instantly replying, thinking of the text message he just got and what, and going, well, I'm gonna throw that information I just got out and just fucking go. And wonder why Harvey's not here. Or not Harvey, but uh, Cobblepot. But I do... I've been enjoying all of it, so... I, I, I'm excited for the second episode. I really am. I don't care about the fucking resolution. I don't care about all that other bullshit. It's still fun. Uh, I know we would... <laughs> I said I'd touch base on it. Yeah, there, there it goes. Like, the fucking resolution kind of sucks. The frame rate's still shitty. Um... They need to fucking, for the amount of money they're making, they need to get that engine fucking running like butter. And it's not. I know, they were like hyping it up. That this, this is going to fix it. the first game on their new engine. <laughs> this is going to fix it, Dad. Huh? This is going to fix it. This new engine. It's going to be great. Maybe they'll fix it in time for the Marvel game. Maybe. This game is going to be 12, it's going to be 1080p on Scorpio. And then people are going to complain. Yeah, probably. All right. Well, a game like this is not going to hit 4K just because the the dev seems to not they don't really have a good grasp of it. So for some reason, I don't know. On Scorpio, it might only be 720p. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, even with all the horsepower thrown at it. Uh, all right. Let's look at. I also played Dead by Daylight. My friend picked me up a copy of this game for my birthday, and <laughs> I gotta say, it's a lot of fun. Like, you got, a, like, a murderer coming after you, and you're supposed to survive. Well, you're supposed to turn on, like, uh, generators so that you can open up the fence to escape. But he's running around, like, fucking putting you up on pikes and shit and fucking with the team. It's an interesting survival game. Multiplayer survival game. Yeah, you know, I was looking at that. I was thinking about... Uh, checking that out, but um, is that out now or is it an early access still? Oh, I have no clue. I just got it on Steam. Just no clue. Yeah. But you know, um, it, it I saw play. some people play it and it looks like fun. How's it compare to something like <sighs> Evolved? Oh my God, this is miles better because I didn't pay for it <laughs> and uh, the villain isn't fucking overpowered. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Good call. Yeah. But uh yeah, I mean it's all right. Like it's it's an interesting concept. It's slower paced than Evolve because the problem with Evolve is the person if the person was good, they could run the fuck out of the with the monster and just slowly evolve nonstop and then you just have a 40 50 minute long game. And Yeah, those were a lot of fun. Yeah. I remember them. And nobody could ever fucking catch the monster and it was just like, well, fuck this. 
Yep. I'm gonna be that guy. I didn't like Evolve. <laughs> we, I mean, we all played it together. We tried to like it. Yeah, we but... really did. We played a lot of it, honestly. But, yeah, it was just one of those games. Just didn't hit for our group. Uh, other than that, I don't think I've been playing anything else. What about anybody been playing? What have y'all been playing? Well, I've been playing, um, I played Ben-Hur. It's free. Uh-huh. Uh, and it gives you a thousand achievements in about an hour and a half. Uh, I've been playing, I played Batman. We went over that. Uh, my Madden, I'm 13-0 and right now in the midst of a franchise season. I lost the Super Bowl last season. <clears throat> so I'm looking to finish the season and win the Super Bowl, and then that'll bring me right to Madden 17. And, oh, Tim, um, can we play Madden 17 together? Yeah, I love oh, it. Okay, good. I'm going to get destroyed, but I'll play it. No, I'm actually not that good. I played Jeremy Downer, and he beat me. But, like, when I get serious, I, I have, like, I can only do one thing at once. Um, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but I can't do two things at once. So if I'm talking to you, I don't think and play. Like, I have to be zoned in to play, so... Um, when I get serious, I would probably be a, probably a good level, but um, I, I you could probably beat me, and we will play. And the final thing is I've been playing Dying Light, and I'm almost finished with it finally, and I love that game. I played it multiplayer with uh, a couple of guys this week weekend, and um, maybe uh, maybe Dustin, maybe we can jump on all of us. We can get me finished. Sounds like a plan. But yeah, I, I had played. I want to talk about one other thing. So I turned thirty-one this weekend, guys. Well, last weekend, uh, but Sunday was my birthday. So I, me and Jason and a couple of my friends, we hung out at my buddy's house and got drunk and we played the Jackbox Party Pack Two. And let me tell you, if you never want to turn, you don't want to turn these games into drinking games because it's very fucking dangerous. All it ends up turning is to dick jokes, honestly. That's that's what it comes down to. It's just dick You jokes. find one person, and he is the scapegoat for your dick jokes for the rest of your night. Yes. And that's what happened. I'm sorry, Curtis. I know you're not listening, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I appreciate the birthday. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but, yeah, I played that. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Pl- pl- uh, a lot of fun playing... Uh, what was it? It was Quiplash, I think it's the one we were playing the most. Bidits, yeah. we played a lot of Bidits. And <laughs> I'm actually excited. I didn't really like Bidit. I thought Bidit, I kind of wish it was more about you judging other people's paintings rather than bidding on them. Yeah. Because bidding, it, it brought in some random game that someone randomly won. I mean, you could get good at it, but who cares? Um... I thought Quiplash was better than that because of that reason. Because Quiplash put you more against the other people than Bidiot did. No, but what's wonderful about this is with Beam, I can actually play Jackbox Party Pack on Beam because it's such low latency and actually have friends play with me across the internet. Because that was the only, like a big issue with uh, like Twitch is... Yes, you could do it, but people had very short amount of times to put their answers in because of the delay. And this might actually, this will make it work. So I'm t- totally down to do uh, Jackbox Party Pack. Uh, we might do part a few different, like play those games now specifically on Beam so that people can play with us and play together and do the whole thing. But I'm really, really excited. This is a great drinking game. <laughs> All right. Dad, you been playing anything else? You know, I, uh, Transformers got, okay. Um, I mean, don't block me. I got Transformers <laughs> and, uh, Achievement what Horror. What is it called? It's called Achievement Horror. Well, game. how much is it? How much is it? Let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's sweep that under the rug. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. I think it was like forty dollars more than nine ninety nine. So <laughs> the, the thing about it is, like, I'll be playing. All right, because it, I it was one of my favorite Transformer games, 
And so you're playing it, and then, like, you'll be in the middle of a level, and all of a sudden the whole screen will freeze. And then, like, right while you're in the middle of, like, reloading or in the middle of a firefight, and then down in the bottom right-hand corner it just says loading. And then it'll load for a few seconds, and then it'll put you right back in the middle of the action. <laughs> sounds, sounds like you developed but didn't finish the game. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Other than that, <laughs> it was pretty good. Uh, th there is another game that I played. I can't remember the name of it. What was the game that came out this week? I played it for like two hours. I streamed it because I can't sleep at night usually. So I was up to like three in the morning playing this game. Do you guys remember the name of it? It came out on Wednesday. No? No. I, I, no, I, I, no. I think it was like Kingdom something or another. I just and have the Xbox so, what? That was me. It was I just went on the my the yeah the, Kingdom the... New Lands is the name of it. Yeah, and it's fourteen ninety nine. It is really good. You're basically uh, sitting on a, the throne as the king, okay? And you have to last like there's like a portal at one end, and then a dock at the other, and there's like a boat, and you have to go and find these beggars, and you give them. Uh, one coin, and then they be all of a sudden become workers for you. It's a 2D pixelated. You basically go back and forth. It looks like uh, Terraria. Basically. Terraria? Yeah, sure. And <laughs> it looks like that. I how Dad destroyed that shit all. Like, yeah. yeah, whatever. I don't fucking care what the game's called. <laughs> I'll give a crap. <laughs> and so uh, it looked like that. And it's, you're riding as the king, you ride on uh, your horse the whole time, going back and forth. You gotta build up this boat, go from one island to the next, as you build up your kingdom. And then, uh, they're out of the portal, every night, comes these goblins. So you have to get, uh, give these coins to these beggars. And then, go to your whatever the heck he's called, Weaponsmith, and make him, uh, not Will Smith, get him to make you some, like, bows, and then you have archers, and then they can defend your base, and you can put up walls and things like that, and then these monsters come, break down the walls, and you have to last a certain number of days, because if you die, you start all over again. And so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Fourteen ninety nine, really good. If you, even if you, you haven't checked it out. There's a demo for it, so you can at least try it out if you're not sure. If my random rambling has not sold you on the game yet, it never will. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. Oh no, uh, no, I don't mean specifically me, but just talk about your oh. rambling. You, oh yeah, you no, are I a understand. rambling man. Yeah, I am. I'm one to ramble. You know, have any of you guys played Overcooked? I keep on thinking about getting it, but I haven't gotten it yet. No, I have not. So it's this four-player game, right? I just really want to play it. Okay, I won't talk about it now. I'll get it, and then next time I'm on, I will talk about it. Is that next week? We need to know. Is it next week? Uh, yeah, perhaps, yeah. Perhaps, okay. Next week, sh sure. You don't have to I'll get cigarettes between now and then, do you? Cigarettes? No. No. You're no, not going to leave our <laughs> podcast like you left us, sorry. No, I don't. I won't leave the podcast like I left All you I guys. know is Dad one day will just, in our little chat bubble, just be like, an hour Where'd before the show, it's just like, hey, got to go get cigarettes. And it's going to be like, fuck, he's not going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to be here this week. That's how he's going to leave our podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be, go get it's going to be, a, it's like, I just got to get cigarettes. I'll be right back. And then he'll end <laughs> and then his fucking, call. That'll be it. <laughs> That's how dad leaves fucking every twi like Twitter chat. <laughs> yeah. I got to go grab cigarettes for a minute. I'll be right back, guys. And just leave conversation. Yeah, I don't even smoke. <laughs> nope. That's how you know. He's, he's got a shit ton of cigarettes, though. Um, there, another game that I played, a lot of Overwatch. A lot of Overwatch, but that's, you know, still... Overwatch not, is great. It's still Overwatch. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I guess the only other game I played that I want to talk about but it's not on the Xbox. Is that allowed, or are you guys going to no, just No, it's not allowed. We, we don't allow no. it. We don't condemn it. 
So what is this game? Uh, Headlander. Okay. Tell me about it. Uh, Headlander. by It's made by uh, the team over at Double Fine that made uh, the game Stacking. Okay. And you're basically this... You get to pick what head you want. And it's basically a head... Looks like an astronaut's head, right? And it's got a rocket... So you're basically flying around as this head, and all the bodies are robots. So you can just fly around and go from body to body. And some of the bodies don't do anything. They just kind of walk around. And then other bodies, like, have uh, blasters, and so you can start shooting at the enemies. You basically want to aim at their heads. It's a lot Dad, of fun. Are, are you sure you just weren't on drugs and imagining this game? Oh, yeah, no. I had my eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> It sounds yeah. it sounds like a crazy ass game. Yeah, it's oh man, but it's a lot of fun. It looks really good. It's uh, developed by uh, developed by Double Fine, published by our uh, friends. Double Fine. Okay. At, uh, I don't know if they're our friends. Actually, at, uh, we don't like anyone. They're not our friends. Cartoon Network Games, right? Is that it? Yeah, they're not our friends. Yeah, I asked um, the producer of the game. I said, hey, Chris Johnson. Shout shit. out to Chris Johnson. I said, hey, shit is right. I said, that's what I said. I said, shit is hey. right. <laughs> I just banned somebody. I don't, I don't know how. I, on accident, I think I banned myself. Wait, uh, from the chat? the chat? <laughs> yes, I don't know. I think I banned myself. Let's be honest, you banned uh, Stinky <laughs> Pete. <laughs> but I asked him. I asked him if it was coming to Xbox, and all he said was, "We have nothing to announce at this time." So, I am it might banded. come to Xbox, but it was. It's a part of their like summer of arcade over on PSN, so it might be a while. I been, I don't know who I pinned. I'm in the freaking. App. Let me get out of this. I went into my mobile app. Of Beam and I banned somebody. Just so. started. Oh, great. I just got a notification. I've been banned from the chat. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, this is funny, man. I don't know who I, I don't know how this is. Now I have to figure out how to unban. Jason, you said you unbanned a dad, right? It doesn't even say dad is banned last time. No, I wasn't banned. Yeah. I was just joking. He's <laughs> joking. All right. All right. Well. We'll figure that shit out. Jeez, oh, yeah, shit. I played like ten other games, so we could just keep going. You banned me! Just go oh my on. god! You banned uh, Mr. Swinestein. Did I... <laughs> <laughs> no! I unbanned him. Don't worry. All right, all right. He's unbanned. Tell... All right. Tell, uh, tell him. <laughs> Let me tweet him. Tell him yourself. You're right here. <laughs> is he? Is he he's in right here. Now? Yeah, he's here. I am yeah. very sorry, Mr. Zwiensen. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but you yeah. are my friend. We've talked before. Zweistein. 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 I think. Zweinstein. Zweistein. <laughs> Zweistein. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, Weck Weckless is in here. What's I, up, I can't what? say we got 24 name. watching. Mr. That's pretty Zweistein good. Zweistein Weckless. 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 I can't say Weckless without Weckless. saying. There's not thinking there's... of two things. I'm thinking there needs to be an R in there, and yeah. I'm thinking I sound like a rug rat character. Wecklis. Yeah, because <laughs> we are Germans. All right. Well, any other games, people? Any other games? Any at all? I played yeah, Subnautica. I... It's fun. It's very what? underwater and it's very wet and it runs really <laughs> crappy on Xbox One. <laughs> Oh. It's a preview game, but it does run like crap on Xbox One. That's um, the other water game I played. I played an <laughs> underwater game. Uh, not Is Mr. It? Not Mr. X, Mr. Z. Not he Mr. Was... X, Mr. Z. Yes, and Mr. Z, you you have to Mr. get a J. Down. Mr. J. No. Mr. J. Let's talk about a terrible movie I saw this weekend. Okay, tell me about this terrible movie. It was called. What was the name of that movie? Make Suicide me want to commit squad. Suicide Squad. You hated yeah. it? Oh, I hated it. I think the Joker was annoying. I didn't like him one bit. I didn't like pretty much anything about the movie except 
Margot Robbie, you can't go wrong with her, and you can't go wrong with Matt Damon, and you can't go wrong with my Hollywood male crush, Channing Tatum, who I'd go gay for. Other than that, Jesus Christ. he's not even in the movie. He's just so but, delicious. Look, Dad, yeah, that's not saying a <laughs> it's lot. It's like you Hollywood go, Squares. Dad, you're not saying a lot. You'd go gay for $10. I mean. Well, that's true. I mean, come on. Let's be honest. Just ask nicely. Just you know ask they me say? nicely. <laughs> Just, just, just so everyone knows, uh, he's happily married and he's a father. No, that's not true. I am a father. He, but he's, not, not happy is not married. part of the equation. <laughs> you, you were married a year ago. You huh? used to be yeah, happily married. I was married a year ago. That's right. Um, what happens as in a year? As far as Suicide Squad goes, I think I think Suicide Squad's on the edge of being a good movie. It's just the editing. Whoever edited that movie did a really bad job yeah actually the people that edited that movie were the people that edited the trailer like the the one trailer that they made got uh a lot of people were excited about it because of the trailer so warner brothers was like hey let's give it to the let's this movie to this trailer studio and they had them make a cut and then they had the director make a cut and that's been warner brothers and i bet the director cut is way better i really do just like Batman v Superman's director cut is way better, and it actually gives you a reason to understand the story. So what, how I'm going to take this is, Dad is a critic, while the rest of the planet loved the movie. <laughs> a lot of people did like the movie, yeah. though. A lot of people liked it a lot. I have uh, mixed feelings oh, about gosh. it. I thought you it was okay. Some people no. who didn't like it. Rotten Tomatoes, it was like 40, 44. Yeah. Look, Rotten Tomatoes gave Ghostbusters a 76%. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes doesn't get to have an opinion. They also, I know they're an aggregate website that does reviews, but the critics that they aggregate, we'll just say that, have no right to talk. Especially, they gave Iron Man 3 like a 75%, which oh, is one horrible. of the worst. Super, Iron Man that, 3 is one of, the worst, one of the worst superhero movies in the past 10 years. Uh, Still better than Suicide Squad. That was a piece of uh, trash. I don't know, I, man. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I liked Meteor Man better. I don't I don't know if I'd put Iron Man 3 over Suicide Squad. I don't know if I'd put Iron Man 3 over Suicide Squad. I'm blowing Iron up Man my 3 suits. Pretty bad. Dad, I'm going to blow up all my suits because I love you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, that, that's fucking Iron Man 3. Terrible movie. <laughs> Wait, why are we talking about Mr. X Media in the chat room? Mr. X Media is working for Sony now, and oh, he's... Yes, he is. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He found that the Xbox actually did not have five teraflops of power. It did <laughs> yeah. not have, um, you know... Uh, you mean he started DQ. taking his drugs? Look, first of all, Tim, <laughs> Mr. X Media was always talking about the Xbox Scorpio... Because the Xbox Scorpio is part of the Xbox One family, and he predicted this. Yes, yes. This is why he is a genius. Yeah. And it's he's not, never wrong. Never. <laughs> you know what? You know that's just going to become a thing too, because it's part of the Xbox One family that the, he'll go that <laughs> route. <laughs> Nintendo, Dad, you have to get a, a avatar. How do I get an avatar? This sounds complicated. He's on his phone. I don't know if he can do I don't it. know. I banned somebody, so I'm not touching the, any of the controls right now. Yeah. Mr. Z was banned. All right. Well, we had, we had 24 uh, watching, and then it went down to 23 when I banned Mr. Z. But we're Mr. Back Z. Up to, we're back up to I, I, I just want to hear Harley Quinn say Mr. Z. <laughs> yeah, Mr. X found out there was no such thing as a stacked DGPU and now is um, claiming that Microsoft is not, they're going the Apple route and they just, they're, they're trying to make money off of it. They're just not unleashing the power. That makes, wait, so you're telling me they paid for the hardware. Uh, this is, this they is what the he, hardware yeah, in the console. He say, yeah, he's saying they're on, they're not unleashing it. They're, they're going the Apple route trying to money gouge people by making them buy different models the, the xbox one actually magically has the power to be the scorpio this so it this, already has the power of the scorpio this, if you right read now. his his most <laughs> i read his tweets half of them are, are like in russian but the other half are about xbox and he's become very bitter and he he's now bitter because xbox has not unleashed the power of five teraflops out of the xbox 
Huh. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, yeah. Well, I really hope he ends up on his medication. So. <laughs> yes, we all hope we pray for his safe return to, I don't know, whatever you... The guy's nuts. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty fucked up. <laughs> D's nuts. D's nuts. Got him. Got him. All right, well, <laughs> if anybody... What have we talked about so far this show? Uh, oh, nothing. Abzu. That we was the water shit. game I played. Abzu. Abzu. How was Abzu? It was pretty good. It's Sounds like a awesome. uh, underwater journey, like everyone else said. It kind of reminded me of an underwater journey meets Echo the Dolphin, where I just swam around. I didn't really know what was going on. Echo Get the Dolphin. cigarettes in it? No, no cigarettes. Oh, damn it. You didn't quit halfway through, huh? <laughs> nope. No, I did not. You didn't look at your connect and say, I got to go get some cigarettes and then leave the room. Oh, no, I took that connect out back and shot it months ago. <laughs> but how do you yeah. tell it to pause when you need to get a beer? Uh, I don't drink. I drink sissy beers. That's the problem. So I just drink. Uh, I just got the new thing I drink now is spiced rum. Okay. And uh, you get a little captain. And it's they got uh, Captain Dew. You mix that with the Mountain Dew, or I'll just mix it with some Seven Up. It's delicious. It's so good. What's so, the answer to your uh, lips? Tim, I'm surprised you haven't yelled yet about how Microsoft won MPDs. Well, I mean, it was a surprise they had the thing. You know, I mean, uh, it's. I think they're going to take a couple now. Uh, the you know, Neo's coming, so October, uh, Sony's favorite, but you never know with the holiday. I mean, Microsoft seems to be uh, doing uh, some good moves. I didn't like the Quantum Break news that it went to Steam. I thought that was a little misleading, and I think they could do a better job there, but um, we didn't talk about that. But uh, Quantum I, Break is a whole clusterfuck, like them just, giving away free PC digital codes and then... All kinds like that game. It, it it wasn't. I don't think it was really going to be as popular as anyone believed in the first place. But I really, I'm kind of sad because I'd like to see a sequel. But it's not a play anywhere title. And I, I I'm not really surprised it ends up on. It's going to end up on Steam. I'm really not. All right. I think that's going to do it for the show this week, guys. Unless anybody got any other games, movies, anything I want to talk about? Any, you know, maybe. Um, Anyone in the do, chat room have questions? Yes. Anyone Supposedly, no. everyone's giving uh, Aaron Greenberg a lot of shit for his tweet. The Sony fanboy is very upset. They're not upset about... Um, no Man's Sky not being able to meet people where they were totally sold a bunch of uh, they were sold down the river but uh, for $60. They're not upset about that but they are upset about Greeny's tweet which I'll read. Yes, go for it. This this is this is has caused uh, quite the stir among the uh, Sony fanboy um, or the fake Sony fanboy that pretends he's a neutral that has like an Xbox controller or, you know, like pretends I'm half and half, but I'm a Sony fanboy and you can read right through me. But um, this is the point. This is the tweet. Uh, Thanks to everyone who helped make Xbox One the number one selling console in July, according to hashtag MT- MPD. Nice to be back on top. That is supposed. That's causing a, such a stir. And oh God! You, he made a comment about how well his console performed a month. How <laughs> yeah. dare he? How? How dare Gaff, he? Scaff has seemed to, uh, you know, uh, you know, gotten a little their 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 feathers ruffled. But again, it's okay to, to be told that you can meet some meet up in a world in a far galaxy. And me and Dad go on the game. And Tim, you keep bringing that place. up, but that's not the most disgusting. I already brought up the most disgusting thing they've done, and that's used DMCA of- against people expressing opinions. Oh, I mean, yes. that's You're way right. worse that is, than they've done that. Advertisement. And, and they also didn't release a game that was ready 
and had to be reviewed a week later and basically sold. And then people. they told people to ignore <clears throat> reviews. Well, no, but like this is the big thing about like that was really disgusting. I think it was the YouTube channel The Truth or something like that. They used the stock B-roll footage that Sony supplied for people to promo the game. They said, hey, maybe you shouldn't, like, buy this game right away. And Sony took it down saying that they violated copyright, even though it was the promotional video Sony gave out specifically for people to use. Because they gave it a negative, like, they had something negative to say. Oh, it was the no. Thank you so much, Stinky Pete. The no. Yeah, the no. They they banned the nose video and put up a copyright violation on it. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> yes, and then they DDoSed. Uh, what was the website? Yeah, they really are. I mean, we're not talking about. You know what? We're not talking about all Sony fans, but there is a, there is a, a vocal minority. Uh, uh, a, a minority that uh, that really is disgusting cesspool scumbags that really need to you know be smacked in the face individually because they do this stuff and they just try to like they try to like basically uh, intimidate people or fuck their things up and you know uh, you know make a death threat behind a computer you know um, that type of stuff. You know, really, in the old days, that's the type of stuff that you get taken out back and whipped with a belt, and you know, in public. So, um, <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> I mean, you just don't do that. You don't. We don't wish death on somebody. You don't. You don't. You don't go that mile. And they seem to keep doing this. And you know, obviously, it's a vocal minority and it's few people, but those select scum really need to have their heads checked. And it, it doesn't help that Sony came out and they told people, Sony and the developer told people, ignore negative reviews. They told them it, there's yeah, a patch the whole thing is a cluster. A patch, by the listen, way, the patch is coming after the game, listen, after you buy the game. So ignore the reviews that might stop you from buying the game. Buy the game because the patch is going to fix everything they don't like. <laughs> yeah, it's weird shit like that. <laughs> Well, I've had a great time. Beam Interactive is the uh, way to go. Yes, we will be doing this from now on. And hopefully we're going to add something where the chat can interact with us in the video stream. We'll figure it out. Well, maybe blow a foghorn at, at uh... Maybe blow uh... a foghorn at Chris. Yeah. When he goes into his, his, his life. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, just follow me. I'll be, uh... Hanging out, maybe at the grocery <laughs> store. Don't forget uh, twitch.tv slash Nintendad. I'm going to be live streaming uh, on Saturday. I jumped in your live stream. Was I, was, I, was I publicly in there? or? I think so, but I think I have to take it down. I don't know. The, uh, uh, it got a little vulgar at some points. Was uh, somebody mad where? at me in that stream, or somebody like said something to me, and then somebody said something, don't say that to him, and oh, then no. what, just started what happened was, was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then this I just is what happened. Down. So, so um, prophecy was like was in the stream. He's very worried that he's going to get arrested for some reason. Uh, so he he, is it he because was he's in the not stream. white. I mean, I don't know. What what is the but problem? What happened was. He kept on talking about playing Rainbow Six. He's like, let's go play Rainbow Six. But Warehouse, friend of the show, future uh, future guest. Um, Not she a friend said, of the show. Yeah, she's my friend of the show. She <laughs> said, hey, Prophecy, I don't have over. I don't have Rainbow Six. And he kept on talking about watching it, playing it. So she said, hey, <laughs> while uh, Tim Dog was in there, what she said that made everyone freak out was, hey, hey, Prophecy, every time you ask to play um, Rainbow Six, Dad's cancer gets worse. Yeah. So everyone, <laughs> everyone freaked out. And uh, I just, I, I busted out hilarious. laughing with Dad. I mean, Dad what? proceeded to make cancer jokes for like an hour and a half or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was basically the cancer cast. Yeah. Uh, and it's You know, it's terrible, except when you have family members going through it, and then you're just you have to have 
you have to find a way to laugh and I know some people won't agree with it, but it's, you know, whatever to make that situation better at the end. You of have the to day. have a sense of humor about it. And a lot of people that go through it, try to do that because it's, it's a long crappy process. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a time and a place like where you don't make jokes, but sometimes you just got to laugh and help yourself. Yeah. yeah. I had to get like my thyroid removed and a couple other things done. But uh, we're having a going away party for my thyroid. So if any of you guys want to go, you're more than welcome to join. Will there be food? Is your oh, thyroid? There will be food. Yeah. Is, well, is well, thyroid well, going well. to go get cigarettes? I mean. <laughs> yeah, thyroid's got to get some cigarettes. <laughs> get the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, he's heading to Colorado. He heard they got weed there. Yeah. <laughs> Medicinal. Medicinal. Yeah, medicinal. No, no, I think, I think that that's not even medicinal. That's just fucking... <laughs> oh, yeah. California is medicinal. Yeah. Colorado's just like, I need some weed. Oh, uh, Colorado's <laughs> recreational. Yeah. Yeah, Colorado, they had they made it so, like, um, anyone that does community service, if you're of age and you do an hour of community service, they give you one joint. joint. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, they said it like the place has never been cleaner, so that's good. <laughs> so true. Uh, <laughs> there's not a single uh, cigarette butt on the ground in Colorado. No yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny, man. Uh, God bless them. Yeah. Yeah. Xbox uncut and lit. <laughs> yes, and beam. Yeah. Xbox uncut. Beam me up. What? <laughs> No Man's Sky's got a 71 Metacritic, according That's to Mr. Z. Yeah. JFYI. I think he fell asleep on his keyboard. That's what it looks like to me. All right, let's, let's I call the show. think that's just for your information. But yeah, it let's could get be, the hell yeah. out of here. <laughs> All, right. All right, I just feel like talking. Let's just keep talking. That's just how what else have I been playing? Yeah, what, um, what else have you been playing, Dad? Twitter. Uh, Twitter? That, yeah. No, that's your game, Tim. That's your game. Yeah, that's your game. Uh, I made some maxi pad bags today, so yeah. there's that. Uh, that's not a game. <laughs> that's work. It was a game to me. I got to get the you colors made it all in. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're not going to print themselves. <laughs> right, you know? I'm playing the outro Is that game going to get mods, or are they going to put it on Steam? <laughs> yeah, they got mods on that thing. I'm putting on the outro music. Everybody, we'd love to have you all tuned in. Please write us at letters at xboxuncut.com. And there's one specific message that I want to leave to part with. Because we're going to stick to our guns. We're not going to write Wicked as cast members. But please, write Wicked. His information's up on the screen right now. There's a small boy starving to death. And he could be saved just with your emails. By writing letters at xboxuncut.com. That is letters. At xboxuncut.com. Save Wicked, Wicked is starving for attention. Wicked wants Thanks, attention. Coco. All right. I want some watermelon. All right. So. We're peacing out. See you all later. See you guys. Bye. I Follow me, Super Nintendo at Twitter. Follow me, Beast Fire Tim Dog. Yeah. Follow me. Don't, don't follow me. <laughs> all right. Let me. Uh, I have to go. All right. See you. Bye, Tim. Love you. Love you. Make my nipple hard. Great. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd put it out on the, put it in, out on the singer. You know, we still play.